Hey everybody, you're back with the Wandering Keith Lees. We are in Sedona. Yeah, I'm super excited. Um, we get to spend Tyler's spring break here. So that will be very nice. I can't wait to show you guys more of what we have. Yeah, we just got to town. We're heading out. Uh, the Forest Service says that Schnebly Hill Road is closed, but that was off of the 17. I'm really hoping that we can get there from the Sedona side. If we can't, I got an alternative spot picked out, but it's a little way south of Sedona. It would be much better to be able to just get there or find a spot up Schnebly Hill Road. So we'll see what happens. Uh, we're still looking for camp, but we're stuck in Sedona traffic right now. So we'll tune back in later. Alrighty, everybody, we're checking in. We found a camp spot. We'll give you a little run through in the morning when we have some light. But for dinner tonight, we're having some uh, ribeye steaks that we're cooking up right now. Hopefully we got a good sear on this side. Let's see if we do. Moment of truth, everybody. Ooh, look at that. Dang, old son. That's bussin'. Hello, you're back with the wandering key fleas. We are in this very, very tight thing. Tyler can barely move and I'm squished. Hey everybody, you're back with the Wandering Keekleys. Um, we are actually, we are planning to go to Starbucks this morning or some coffee shop. Um, so we're gonna do that, but this is the setup that we currently have. Um, we have our topper and we're just putting stuff on top of our top topper, like the table and our pantry that you see over here. Um, and then we'll pack up, but this is the view. Well, we can't probably I would say about 10 miles south of Sedona because oddly enough all public lands out here have no camping signs so we gotta drive a little out of town but we found a spot with a lot of people but you know what it worked out yeah so we set up for last night it actually it was pretty tight but it wasn't as bad as I honestly thought it was going to be so we'll check in a little bit later just cuz we're just trying to get moving now. All right, everybody. So we have decided we're gonna do Broken Arrow today, and then we're gonna go do some galleries uh, later tonight. And we might actually end up staying in the same spot possibly tonight. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of an update. Uh, last night we slept on the platform for the first time. It, as expected, is is cramped, but there's a lot of pros to it also. It's oh, yeah. way warmer, uh, a lot more comfortable. So, you know, if we're gonna stay somewhere for more than a day, we're definitely gonna set up a tent. Yeah. Um, but overall, it was very good for an overnighter. Um, the campsite we were at, I'm sure, uh, we've already done this in an update, but I'm gonna go over it one more time. It was packed like sardines and you should, that's something to expect if you plan on doing overland type camping in Sedona. If you're willing to pay for, you know, a real nice place, you know, Sedona's probably fine, but well, if you're like us and trying to camp on public lands, even the public lands don't allow- Camping. Hardly any camping. <laughs> um, and the spots that they do allow camping just fill up like crazy. 
And there's um, ve there's very minimal spots too. Mm -hmm. yep, so yep. that's the other. Um, so and then tomorrow, I we're gonna have to decide what we're gonna do tomorrow because it is supposed to rain. Word. So that might put a dent in doing Soldier's Pass, but we don't know. We for sure are gonna do Broken Arrow today because that's something that we wanted to do. And then from then on, we're gonna wing it. I think that's kind of the plan. We're just winging it at this point because yeah, well, it didn't go exactly as planned so far. Yeah, a lot of the spots we were planning on staying, you know, last night we were planning on staying at. Originally, we wanted to stay somewhere on Schnebly Hill Road. Um, it's partially closed. Yeah, it's only four miles. It's it's closed four miles up. Um, so we're we're definitely having to be very flexible with where we stay. Um, but overall, we're excited. Broken Broken Arrows, a you know a world class trail for Sedona. It's short, so I'm gonna figure out what we're gonna do about airing airing down. I'm not sure if we're just gonna stay aired down. That would be what I'd like to do, but between here and where we're gonna camp, that there's a few too. spots where we get over over 45 miles an hour. I usually only, yeah. I'll only really go 45 um, with the tires aired down. So we'll see what happens uh, as far as that goes. And we'll keep you updated. Hopefully we can get some drone footage because I have my brand new drone I got for my birthday. So we'll have to see. We'll uh, tune back in when we get some more videos.
Hi everybody, so I'll show you what we are having on the trail today when we're on Broken Arrow. Um, I packed a whole pantry and I'll walk you through. So this is our pantry. We have like tortillas, chips, in our cooler we had some chicken Caesar salad and I had some rotisserie chicken from either Sam's Club or Costco and we just heated it up because it was frozen and broke our spatula. So we're making these little burritos, having some chips and water.
I can't believe we didn't take the bumper cap off. Yeah. Two spots. That was, yeah. All right, so that was uh, the double staircase, and um, that was scary. Yeah, well, thank you, to, <laughs> thanks to Kayla for uh, the spot on that one. It wouldn't have been doable had I not had that spot. And there was a lot of spots where I was ready for the the bumper cap. These third gen Tacomas, the bumper caps, are incredibly prone to just being torn off because our departure the, the departure angle is so terrible on these trucks. We've already tore one off before. Mm -hmm. So I was about prepared to tear both of them off, but I think the only thing that saved us is when you're going down that all the weights forward and it lifts the rear bumper up um, enough to wear and, that doesn't happen. And the camera does not do it justice as how steep it actually is because I had to walk down, which it, it really probably is what, like a hundred feet? Oh, it's more than that. It's pretty far. I mean, I would say in, in the realm of like a hundred yards. Hmm. Well, I had to walk all that and uh, I would rather walk it than drive it, but my back is not thanking me. So <laughs> I think we're gonna take it pretty easy tonight. Um, if we end up going to any galleries, we'll try taking some pictures if they allow it. So mm -hmm. um, now we're just going back the same way. So it doesn't really do us a whole lot of good to videotape, but we might take a small video, but we have done the uh, broken arrow now, so yep. check that off our list. <laughs> yeah, it was it was a very mild or mellow trail the whole way. Uh, Devil's Staircase. Now I know it's just real nerve wracking. The yeah. technic it's not necessarily technical. Pink jeep. Yep, I see the pink jeep. So <laughs> luckily, there's lots of pull off. So I'm going forward a little bit, so that way I can pull over for the pink jeep and there are tons of pink jeeps so beware when you're going down this spot how many people go because it's a one way in one way out okay You're back with the wandering Keatleys. Um, sadly, I think we're going to get rained out. So that means that we cannot do any more in Sedona. I think we're just going to have to hang out in Phoenix, which is fine. It's just not what we wanted. It's supposed to rain tonight, tomorrow, and Thursday. So it kind of makes it unreasonable for us to stay here. On the other side, we are at the blue McDonald's. So that's kind of cool. I'll do i uh, I'll turn the camera around so I can show you. Tyler's just airing up so we can get back on the road. We wanted to do soldiers pass tomorrow. It'll be way too muddy. And we ethically do not want to tear up the roads. So that's just more of what we want. We don't like doing that. So that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully we get some more content the next video might be cooking, but we'll have to see. So we'll uh, tune in a little bit later while we're on the road. All right, so um, sadly, I think this is going to be it for the video. A ton of pictures. So 
that's going to be amazing. I'm probably going to make a new intro, which I honestly, I like doing. I like editing and I like posting on our Instagram page and keeping up to date on YouTube. So um, the cool thing is, is we did get to see lots of cool places. We went to this art gallery place that's like I don't even know where it is um and of course I forgot to <laughs> take videos um but you know we got the dogs a little Sedona treat which was super cute um and we have we just kind of looked around for different like gift shops and stuff parking up here is an absolute nightmare. I'm pretty sure it's worse than parking in downtown Phoenix. I cannot emphasize, you need to figure out where you're camping because finding campgrounds up here is unnerving. Um, it really is because you think you find a really good spot because Google says it's $5 and it's closed. Does it say why it's closed? No. <laughs> so we kept running into Onyx Maps would say a campground was open and it turned out it wasn't open. And then we were, um, I think Tyler was on Overlander to look at more places. And we went to like three or four places and there was still no camping allowed or it was closed. Um, we have never run into this problem ever before. Um, Tyler does work on Onyx Maps. He uses Onyx Maps just for uh, when we go overlanding. Um, I don't know if he uses it f necessarily for um, his business when he does GIS mapping, but he is pretty familiar with the layout. Um, he knows how to run Overlander and somehow it took us quite literally over two and a half hours driving all around Sedona to find a spot. And our spot wasn't even that nice because we were crammed in like sardines. Um, it was literally just car after car after car after car in this tiny parking lot. And you've got all of these buses and RVs and um, small vans. And then you've got the trucks and there was cars pulled over. Parking and camping or camping here was more difficult than we expected. So that is just for your information. <laughs> um, of course, Tyler and I like doing it on a budget. We do free, we try to do free, if not like less than like $15. So that's just us. We like to be a little more money conscious because we are running on a budget. Um, but we get to do cool stuff and we, the this is like our vacation. Um, still to date, we've spent probably less than like $30 total in Sedona, which is pretty good. I don't, I mean, that's pretty good. Our campground last night was free. It was like Red Rock. It was over by Red Rock uh, camping or National Forest or something. Um, but yeah, that we might run down everything a little bit later, but um, as for now, I think that's going to be about the end of this video. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Please like, subscribe, comment, ring the bell for notifications if you uh, want to no get notified when I decide to post. Um, I'm going to try to make it more regular. We try to do at least every seven days. It sometimes is difficult, but... Um, we, we do try our best. Um, we weren't able to get the drone out, so that is a little sad, but we'll have to just do it next time. Um, thank you again for all of my followers. I know I don't have that many, so really a big thank you to all of you that are tuning into my channel and Tyler's channel, which he's not here. He's airing up the tires, but... Um, I know we both really appreciate you guys um, watching our videos. We get excited to make them and we get excited documenting our adventures because it's not something that 
we've thought about doing before. We should have done it a lot more when we lived in Montana because we went off-road a lot. So we are hoping that this summer we're going to have a lot of videos coming up because we are driving up the coast. So it will be really, really great this summer. You'll get lots of new videos, new content from us. And um, if my family okays it, they might even come in some videos. So um, thank you again for tuning in and please like, subscribe, and tune in for the next one. Have a good day.